I do much wonder that one man, seeing how much another man is a fool when he dedicates his behaviours to love, ugh, will, after he have laughed at such shallow follies in others, become the object of his own scorn by falling in love. And such a man is Claudio. I have known when there was no music in him but the drum and the fife, and now he'd rather hear the tabor and the pipe. Ooh. I have known when he would have walked ten mile afoot to see a good armour, and now will he lie ten nights awake, carving the fashion of a new doublet? I don't care. He was wont to speak plain and to the point, like an honest man and a good soldier. <laughs> well, now, is he turned orthography? <gasps> His words are a fantastical banquet. Oh, so many strange dishes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -mm. <sighs> Will I ever be converted and see through these eyes? I cannot tell. I think not. I will not be sworn, but love may transform me to an oyster. But I take my oath on it, till he hath made an oyster of me. He will never make me such a fool. One woman is fair. Yet I am well. Oh, another is wise. Yet I am well. Another virtuous. Yet I am well. But till all virtues be in one woman, never shall one woman come in my grace. <laughs> Rich, she shall be. That's so. Um, wise, or I'll not. Um, virtuous, or I'll not cheap her. Uh, fair, or I'll never look on her. Mild, or come not near me. Noble. Or not I for an angel. Um, <clears throat> uh, of good discourse, an excellent musician, and her hair shall be... Uh, what colour, please God? Oh! Ah, the Prince! And, oh, Monsieur Love! I'll hide me in the arbour. Arbour? Arbour? Mm -mm. 